welcome to our online class organized by the authority of dr khastagir government girls high school before starting our class i would like to introduce myself i am tawhida armana assistant teacher english dr khastagir government girls high school chattogram today my class is for the students of class 6 and my subject is english for today so dear learners of uh, class 6 how are you i think all of you are doing well i am also fine by the grace of almighty allah today we are going to learn a very much today we are going to learn a very much important topic and it is i think it will be enjoyable for you so let's see look at the picture who is he i think all of you can answer my question and he is very much a popular famous and well known figure also you know him he is Bangabandhu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman great leader of Bangladesh without him our independence is impossible he he, uh, he actually he under his supervision and guideline we achieved our independence uh, we could give our introduction as uh, bangali uh, because of him he is a great leader of this uh, bengal he is called bangobondhu it means the friend of bengal he is the son of this bangladesh he is the golden son of this uh, soil we can say he is the son of this soil isn't it so dear learners our today's topic is the son of the soil uh, you will find it in your eft book in lesson 12 page number 39 to 41 learning outcomes after completing this lesson uh, you will be able to describe pictures answer questions after reading text interact through short talks and simple dialogues write short compositions okay let's see some pictures here are two pictures uh what do you see in these pictures uh this is uh what do you see in these pictures where are they located how are the pictures related to bangobandhu can you answer these questions okay i am helping you this is the mausoleum of uh, bangobandhu sheikh mujibur rahman it is in tungipara and this is the cemetery of or uh, graveyard of bangobandhu sheikh mujibur rahman uh, actually mausoleum means a large tombs it is usually stone buildings with places for entombment entombment of the dead above ground okay and this is the graveyard of our great leader bangobandhu sheikh mujibur rahman now dear learners open your book sit uh, with your um, important instruments such as your pen your exercise copy in front of you let's begin our today's lesson this is section b i am reading out the text open your book and read it read the text with me 
Tungipara, a small green village beside the river Madhumoti, is under Gopalganj, under Gopalganj district. Here I have highlighted uh, some words which are very much important for this uh, topic, which, uh, which words are very much important. That's why I have highlighted these words. Modumuti is the river uh, beside Tungipara and Gopalganj is the district where uh, Tungipara is situated. In the olden days, the villagers used to wake up with the chirping of birds. Many years ago, it was not the same Tungipara. It was not the same. Tungipara now full of the sound of motor vehicles passing the motorways. People used to move from one place to another by boat. The green nature, the paddy fields, the open sky, the glassy water of the river, the shades of the trees and the blowing wind developed the villagers as fun-loving, friendly people. Here, glassy means clear and clean water. Okay. A baby was born there in a prosperous Sheikh family on 17th March, 1920. Uh, prosperous means uh, very uh, successful, well-to-do family. And he was born in 17th March, 1920. Do you know who this baby was? He was none other than our father of the nation, Bangabundhu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman. His father was Sheikh Lutfur Rahman and mother Sahira Khatun. Many years ago, at the time of his birth, who could understand what potentials the boy had? Who could realize that this small boy would be the father of the nation one day? Here, uh, potential means uh, some special qualities, some inner qualities. Okay. Now, I am moving to my next slide. Tungipara's Sheikh family is very well known in that area. Even there are some, there are songs and lyrics composed by the local birds narrating their pomp and glory. Here, uh, bird means a tribal poet or singer skilled in composing and reciting uh, verses and verses on heroes and their deeds. Okay, and pomp means what does pomp means? Pomp means a show of magnificence, okay, or a ceremonial or festival display, okay. Then a religious man named Sheikh Borhanuddin founded this family many years ago. Yes, uh, religious means devoted to religious belief, okay. He is very much devoted to religious belief. The ruins of the old buildings of the sheikhs stand out as a symbol of their wealth during the Mughal era. Means uh, uh, the, in that time, Mughal time. Okay. Brick buildings were not very common then. Over time, the next generations could not maintain that status okay dear students do you know what is generation means okay generations mean uh, uh, a group of individuals or a uh, class uh, usually developed from an earlier type okay then <coughs> Uh, could maintain that status. 
new teen shaped houses replaced the old brick ones mujib's childhood was spent in one of those houses as he says in his autobiography what is autobiography uh, autobiography means it is usually written account of a person's life in his own word okay autobiography biography means uh, the history of any person and which is written by him it's difficult to say how sheik burhanuddin came to tungipara more than 200 years ago however history traces sheik kudratullah and sheik ekramullah brothers as his heirs here uh, what does trace means trace actually trace means uh, a, a sign of uh, evidence of some um, past thing actually trace means a sign of evidence of some past things okay and what does here means here means uh, one who receives property from an ancestor okay then they were landlords in that area besides their own business and were uh, socially very influential here landlord means uh, owner of land okay and influential means very much powerful they had so much wealth that once kudratullah told one of the british officers i don't count my earnings i just weigh my wealth bangabandhu and his relatives are descendants of these two brothers here descendants means uh, proceeding from an ancestor okay then mujib carried the spirit and tradition of these bold people bold means uh, fearless people uh, uh, fearless before uh, danger they are fearless before danger okay let's move to our next slide mujib spent his childhood in tungipara all the local roads were his playground he had cravings for diving in the river and getting drenched in the rain water here's cravings means intense desire um, or what could we say we we can say strong liking or desire and drenched means uh, wet uh, drenched means uh, to wet uh, thoroughly okay he ran field after field in search of bird nests nests he was amused by kingfishers and weaver birds the sweet melody of the doves charmed him a lot this is why hanging out with other boys surrounded by nature was his passion the pet lover mujib also had pet monkeys dogs and different types of moina he used to train the birds to sing and other pets to follow his instructions he always took good care of them in his childhood he was lean and thin he was a lean and thin boy and everyone especially his grandma was worried about his health she always kept some milk butter and other homemade milk items milk items ready to improve the grandson's health mujib always preferred simple foods like plain rice fish curry and vegetables but he had a fascination for rice with milk and banana at the end of the meal mujib had two elder sisters and two younger sisters along with a younger brother his elder sisters were very caring to him everyone adorned him a lot he was mia bhai to the villagers and khoka to his senior sorry to his 
senior family members mujib had a natural bent of mind to mix with everyone yes here adore adored means loved everyone loved him uh, very uh, uh, very much everyone loved him very much okay uh, this text is adapted from ashomapto atto jiboni the autobiography of bangabandhu sheikh mujibur rahman okay dear learners i have completed reading out the text now here comes section c here are some words which are here are some words which are used in the text above write the bangla meaning of the words and make sentences in english with them these are the words uh, uh, we have uh, got this word in our text that we uh, just finished reading and i have uh, already mentioned the meaning of this english meaning of these words now according to the directions uh, i have prepared the bengali meaning of this words and i have made a sentence uh, with each of the words here glassy means shotcho the glassy surface of the lake looked beautiful potential means sambhavana nobody could understand what potential the boy had autobiography means atto jiboni I have just finished reading the autobiography of Steve Jobs. Descendants means Bangshudhar. Many of them are descendants of the original settlers. Brands means Bheja Athoba Plabito. We were drenched by the sudden rainfall. Hair means Uttaradhikari. The influential landlord left no hair when he died. then our next word dress means chinno othoba dag the police have been unable to find any trace of the gang our next word caring means jotno shil my mother spent years caring for my grandfather next adore means adore kora uh, yeah. here is a sentence my daughter adores her new baby brother our last word craving means probol ichha othoba tibro akankha okay the sentence is i have a big craving for sweets dear learners i have made uh, sentences with each of the words uh, you will try to make another new sentences with this words each of the words with each of the words you will try to make another new new sentences okay have a look here this is section d here are some cues right appropriate information about them first cues four fathers of bangabandhu and personality types uh, who are the four fathers of bangabandhu according to the text we have known that uh, uh, we have got uh, borhanuddin uh, he was very well known in that area uh he founded this sheik family and we have also got sheik uh, kudrutullah and sheik akramullah uh, they were brothers and they were as uh, they were brothers and they were influential landlords and uh, they have their own they had their own business and they were socially very much influential okay uh they had very uh, very much great wealth they 
they had a great wealth, um, Bongobundu and his relatives and descendants of these two brothers. And uh, they were very kind and generous and Bongobundu also carried this uh, speciality, this spirit and tradition from his forefathers, okay? Now, names of family members and relationship with them. Uh, his father's name was um, Sheikh Lutfur Rahman and mother's name was Sahira Khatun. Uh, they were very loving parents. They loved him very much and uh, they had a good relationship. He had a good relationship with them. And next, Bangobundhu's pastime. How did he pass his pastime? You know, <clears throat> uh, he was a pet lover. He had pet monkeys, dogs, and different types of moina. Uh, in his pastime, he used to train the birds to sing and other pets to follow his instructions. And also, he liked to explore nature. Okay, then last, Bangabundu's favorite food. Actually, he, he was a very simple man. He preferred very simple foods like plain rice, fish curry and vegetables, but um, he had a, a great fascination for rice with milk and banana at the end of the meal. Okay, now, Moving to our next slide. This is section E. Write answer to the questions. Here are three questions are here. Question number one. How was the nature around Bangabundu during his childhood? What qualities did Bangabundu get from his forefathers? And last one. What made Bangabundu's guardians worry about him? Uh, you now what you have to do you have to read the text in B again then you have to find out the answer of this question okay uh, I have prepared the answer for you although I have prepared the answer but uh, you have to match the answer with me and you could add any more information with this uh, answer as you like, okay? What was our first question? Our first question was, uh, how was the nature around Bangabundhu during his childhood? The nature around Bangabundhu during his childhood was very beautiful. The green nature, the paddy fields, the open sky, the glassy water of the river, the shades of the trees, and the blowing wind fascinated Bangabundhu very much. Okay. Now, uh, you could uh, write the answer in your own way, uh, but you have to give the uh, appropriate uh, answer. You have to give the appropriate answer. Don't elaborate the answer unnecessarily, okay? Now, uh, what, uh, what is our second question? What qualities did Bangabundhu get from his forefathers? Here is the answer I have prepared for you. History traces that Bangabundhu's forefathers were great businessmen in their area. Besides that, they were landlords and socially very influential. They had so much wealth that once one of his forefathers, Kudratullah, told one of the British officers, I don't count my earnings, I just weigh my wealth. They were also very kind and generous. Mujib carried such kind of spirit and tradition from his forefathers. Okay, our last question. What made Bangabundhu's guardians worry about him? In Bangabundhu's childhood, he was a lean and thin boy. That's why everyone 
especially his grandma was worried about his health. Okay. And what did his grandmother used to do? Uh, she, his grandmother was very much worried about his health and she always get some milk, butter and other homemade milk items ready to improve his grandson's health. Okay. Now, next slide. This is section F. Work in pairs and ask and answer the following questions. As you are in home, so we cannot do pair work. You have to do it individually. Here are some questions. You have to write the answer in your exercise book. Okay. How is your village town similar or dissimilar to Tungipara during Bangabundhu time? How can you write this answer? How can you write this? Uh, you, can, uh, you can write this like that. In uh, Bangabundhu's village, uh, uh, Bangabundhu's, uh, Bangabundhu's village, has a green nature like mine. Uh, uh, Bangabundhu's village has pedi fields and um, um, we have also pedi fields in our village uh, like, Bang, uh, like his, uh, um, the, like the shades of the trees our, in, our, in our village, there are various kinds of trees and these trees are giving shades and doing blowing wind uh, of, of my village is very uh, charming and uh, fascinating uh, for me. Okay. What do you know about your grandparents? Do you know about your grandparents? I think all of you know about your grandparents. You can uh, write like this. My grandparents are really loving and caring. They adore me very much. Uh, my grandmother make uh, my favorite dish uh, for me every time I go to my village. And my grandfather also spends a lot of time playing chess, ludo, and many other games with me. Okay. Next, what are your favorite food? Uh, what are your favorite food? You, you can write, my favorite foods are pulao, chicken roast, korma, Chinese vegetable, uh, which are made by my mother. Okay. Then last one, do you see any similarity between Bangabundhu's childhood and yours? In what ways? Uh, if you find any similarities between Bangabundhu's childhood and yours, uh, you have to write it in your own way. I am not giving answer of this question. You have to write it at your, in your own. Okay. Now, section G, work in pairs. Here are two sets of cues. One set is for you and one set is for your friend. Based on the cues in your set, tell your friend about Bangabundhu. Set A, names and birthplace, forefathers, hobby, foods. And set B, Sheikh Bohanuddin, Sheikh Kudratullah, Sheikh Lutfur Rahman, and Saira Khatun. Okay. Set a, look at set A. Suppose this is uh, for you. Names and birthplace. Names of names, birthplace, forefathers, hobby, and foods. Here, uh, the uh, names means Bangabundhu's name is uh, Sheikh Mujibur Rahman. He was born in Singhipara. Uh, be, a, a small green village beside which uh, a river named Montumoti flows. It is under Gopalganj district. 
okay his forefathers what do you know about his forefathers his forefathers uh, were, uh, was very his family was very well known and um, uh, they, a, a religious man uh, named Sheikh Burhanuddin founded his this family many years ago. Uh, okay. And then his hobby, what, uh, what was his hobby? He had a uh, patient, uh, very much urgent patient for diving in the river and getting drenched in the water. And uh, he is uh, amused. Uh, he was uh, also very fond of touching of bird's nest. Uh, he was amused by kingfishes and weaver birds. And the sweet melody of the doves charmed him a lot. Okay. Foods. What about foods? Uh, he was not that very much food lover. He, was, uh, he preferred simple foods like plain rice, fish curry, vegetable. But uh, he had a great fascination for rice with milk and banana at the end of the meal. Now, set B. Sheikh Burhanuddin. Sheikh Burhanuddin was the founder of this Sheikh family. Okay, and Sheikh Kudrutullah, who is Sheikh Kudrutullah? Uh, history places that Sheikh Kudrutullah and Sheikh Ekramullah brothers was where he is here. They were landlords in that area. Area beside their own business, they were uh, besides their own business, they were landlords and they were socially very influential. And they had so much wealth uh, that uh, um, Kudrutullah once told one of the British officers that I don't count my earnings, I just weigh my wealth. Okay. And uh, Sheikh Lutfu Rahman, he is father of our Bangabundu, Sheikh Mujibur Rahman, and Saira Khatun is the mother of Bangabundu, Sheikh Mujibur Rahman. They, uh, they adored him very much. Uh, they were very um, uh, much, they were very good parents. They loved him a lot. Okay. Now, dear students, I know you are very busy with your uh, assignments. You have to prepare two assignments in each week. Uh, though you are busy and you are uh, you have to pre prepare two assignments in a week I, have, I want to give you a homework as this uh, lesson is very much important that's why I would like to give you a homework here is the homework write a short paragraph in telling what aspect of Bangabundu's childhood you have liked most and why okay uh, write it as a paragraph okay okay dear learners i have come to the end of my lesson and end of my class i would like to give you thank you goodbye see you and allah hafiz see you in our next class Till then, bye. Take care of yourself.